matter how you look at it, but it'll have to be in a different form where I'm pouring myself, you know, pouring into new artists or whatever. Does Chip Foo have any regrets? Do I have any regrets? Uh, hmm. I think how everything turned out is how God wanted it to happen. And I think that I learned from everything that I've gone through. If I had to do it again, there'd be slight changes. I don't regret going through all of the, 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 the foolishness that I went through because now it made me a different person and my approach is totally different when it comes to music, even in relationships and talking to people, I'm different. But a few things I would change, but you know, I really don't have any serious regrets. Can you talk to us about, you said you were stopped by the coronavirus. You are currently working on something. Can you tell us what you have coming up? No, nah, I can't talk about that. Top secret? Yes, I can't talk about that. It's something that I've been working on is crazy. Um, several things that I'm working on, you know what I mean? Um, shout out to prayer. Um, and I'm going to leave it at that. I can't, I can't really talk about what's going on right now because I'm going to give away a lot. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Once this, this whole thing is lifted, it's going to be on, though. Got a few fan questions for you. Um, fan questions, let's go. How was it working with Queen Latifah and the Flavor Unit? Working with Queen Latifah and the Flavor Unit was an incredible thing because growing up, um, yeah, I used to listen to Chill Rob G like crazy and, 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 and Snap and all. Yeah, Chill Rob G when he had that big record. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, that's the record that everybody used to do, The Running Man, too. And then to finally be down with the crew, you know, the Flavor Unit crew, and to rep them, you know, doing role with the Flavor, it was an incredible thing. And then to actually have uh, a relationship with, I had a good relationship with Latifah's mom. Miss Owens was like a, a second mom to me, man. She really took care of me. And um, that was the first person I would always go and see when I went to Flavor Unit was Miss Owens and go sit down in there and talk. And no matter what I was going through, I was able to just be expressive to her. And um, yeah, I mean, it was a beautiful thing. They treated us like family, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to uh, Sean Kim and the Flavor Unit. Is there some unreleased Bushnikian music in the vault that will be rele released in the future? Bushnikian music in the vault? Got a few records in the vault. They ain't gonna see the light of day. I can honestly say that. Those records will not see the light of day now. I think where we, where we stop that is where we need to leave it and just cut out all the, this foolishness about... Um, are there any early songs of other artists we never heard or never came out? <laughs> uh, nah, we, where we, as far as the Fushnik and stuff, I think we just going to leave it where it is. No new music from us. Um, uh, I think that, um, yeah, that's the answer to that question. No new music from the Fushnik and drama. Neek the Exotic, what up, people? What up, Neek? What does Chip Fu know now that he wishes he would have knew then? What I know now? Take your time, actually. Don't force the pen. I mean, when it comes to writing, everything should come natural. There's a lot of records that I would have probably didn't over, done over, you know, because of my approach and how I think now. And I think that um, that's the only thing that I, 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 would, I would actually change. Um, just taking my time with certain things. Developing the proper relationships and listening. I mean, I, I was listening back then, but you got to remember, I was a kid, and I just wanted to get in the booth and just rhyme. And, you know, I accomplished that. But later on in life is when I started really uh, dealing with the business side of things, and I wish I was, you know, in that space when I was younger. But I'm in that space now, so, you know, for these kids that I'm teaching, to teach them about contracts and stuff like that. So I'm good. Plastic the Funky Mulatto wants to know, if Chip Fu was a martial art, which would it be? If I was a martial art, what would it be? It would be the drunken fist. The reason why I say it would be the drunken fist is because everything is real smooth and in the beginning. And the only time when you strike with the drunken fist is when you're closer to your opponent. And you don't move with strength. You move real loose until you get close to your opponent and then you strike. Even though your opponent may hold on to you and feel like he's doing the worst to you, there's certain ways that you can cover up 
But when you strike, you have to strike with everything. And you're striking not only, you're striking from your waist and you're striking from your legs. So you're just hitting them with everything. I would say that. Have you found since you've been quarantined in that your subject matter has changed due to the social issues going on right now? Uh, subject matter has changed. Uh, I wrote a, a, a lot of different songs that I wouldn't have tried, you know, slightly because I lost my my uh, mother-in-law to this whole situation. Sorry to hear that. Um, appreciate that. I think for me, it just made me uh, view things different. And now, like I said in a post I put up before, my relationships with people will be totally different. I'm no longer hiding how I feel. I think that's the new change for me. If I love you, I love you. I don't care who you are. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I think I'd rather say sorry to make sure that I feel comfortable with me as a man and not say sorry to make another person feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot of people need to understand that saying sorry doesn't make you a weak person. Weak don't mean meek at all. So moving forward with all my relationships, it's just going to be straight, honest, and truthful. If I don't like you, I don't like you. If I don't F with you, I don't F with you. But if I love you, you can truly know that about me, period. I just seen a question that uh, mm -hmm. they wanted to know. Uh, did you have to write your fast rhymes down or were they all memorized? Oh, I had to write them down. And um, half of them would be memorized and the other half would be written down. Because there were certain stanzas within the verse that were coupled a certain way and I had to remember the cadence. So I would study the cadence and the rest of it would be on paper. So I knew I had stars next to certain things on the paper where I knew that that's where the flow would switch up. And I had to read those parts over the paper because I couldn't remember them. Because remember, everything is stacked on. A lot of people fail to realize that when you're writing like that, eight bars, I can't write eight bars. My eight bars are 16 bars. So I'm saying 16 bars in the eight bar stanza. So if you want 12 bars from me, that's 24 bars in a 12 bar stanza. So I had to write more than other people and make sure that how I how I coupled it together, that the cadences would match on beat and make sure I got everything out with clarity. So it was crazy. Steph Wagwan, Shady Beats Wagwan. King Who's Trevor faster? Wagwan. Hmm? Who's faster, you or Twister? Who's faster, me or Twister? Twister know what time it is, man. Twister know what time it is. Twister and I were at the House of Blues when we first came out. And... um that's when he was tongue twisting the music at the House of Blues together. And we got on stage and the DJ kept throwing on beats and we just went at it. We went at it back and forth. A lot of people don't know that Twist and I are real good friends. That's when people are like, yo, who's fast and you? I heard Twister this and Twister. Nah, that's my boy right there. That's family right there. That is family. If you look in his second video for No Peace Sign, see, I didn't even tell people this. No Peace Sign. Uh, when he was tongue twister, I'm standing with him in a video next to where the light is being shown. I'm in that video just repping for him at the time. So, yeah, that's my boy right there. Uh, will math be available to middle schoolers or just high schoolers only? Uh, it's available for, for middle schoolers, high schools, and college. Diane, what's going on, family? Trevor, what's going on, family? What's going on with people? We got about Marine five minutes up. before we get out of here. Can you uh -huh. shout out your social media? Uh, my social media is uh, at Chip Fu on um, Instagram. I got so many social media platforms at at Chip Fu on Facebook. Um, yeah, at Chip Fu on Facebook. Roderick Chip Fu Roachman on Facebook and at Chip Fu on Instagram. So all them questions that them people sent us, we had to really skim it down. For sure. All right, no problem. Sounds like a part two in the future. Has to be a part two because there's a lot of questions that I know that we both got that I ain't answered. So we're going to have to wait till, till, till that time. Sounds let me do good. A, let me do a part two. Uh, can I personally ask you, is there anything that you're doing during this time that's going to prepare you just in case this coronavirus comes back in the second wave in the future? I'm exercising heavy, uh, making sure that my immune system is crazy. I'm not... I'm making sure that, um, for one, that uh, when it comes to the respiratory part of things, since I was born with respiratory problems, that 
when it comes to that whole respiratory thing that I'm fine, running every day, jumping jacks every day. And um, that's it just for me. And prayer too. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people don't think about that, man. Once you, once you send to yourself and you pray and you, and you pray and your faith is strong, no matter what it is that you're going through, you're going to always succeed. So whether it be virus or anything else, as long as you're strong within your faith, that's going to push you through anything else. Because when, when there's times where you can't get up and you don't think you can do it, but you pray on it, faith going to push you through that, man. Bottom line. Uh, we got a lot of people in here from London mm -hmm. and Germany all over London, the Germany. What, they what, stayed what up. Do? Is there a special message you can leave uh, your fans around the world with? Yo, um, just understand I'm working on something special. Uh, there may be some slight changes. Understand, um, yeah, you know, it's going to be crazy lyrically this time around. You know, since everybody is a lot of people I influence, they can be more influenced with these projects come out also. Um, I just want to thank uh, people for just waiting, man, and, and just pouring into me because I'm a different person. So when you guys get these projects, just understand that that's really all me. It's no group, nothing. That's me with the pen all day, my ideas, everything. So I think this time around, when you guys get projects from me, you're going to get everything else. Shout out to Black Ink Entertainment. That is my uh, production company. <clears throat> Shout out to Steph. I work with, uh, shout out to Brian, uh, Shaheem. There's a lot of people. Shout to my bra, my brother, my son, my, my, my family, all my cousins that's up on here. Uh, shout to them. Um, and yeah, I'm about to bust everybody's tail with these new projects. That's all I got to let y'all know. And all those people that's been sleeping, trust me, y'all don't know what's about to come. I'm not being cocky. I'm just being extremely confident and I should have been this confident years ago when I dropped stuff with the group. So it's time around when I drop what I drop, man. Just understand that it's not going to change me. It's not changing me. I'm just being, um, I'm just being open and honest. That I'm gonna bust a lot of people ass and surprise a lot of people this time around. It's just gonna be nothing but music. You feel me? So on that note, I'm out. <laughs> and we got to do a part two so I can answer those For other sure. questions. Hey, I just want to personally thank you for joining me tonight and um, being such a big part of, of, of my 90s and, and the 2000s and just uh, being a fan. I want to thank you for everything you've done for the culture. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. And thank you for interviewing me. me. Yeah, for sure. And uh, anytime you get some new music, make sure you send it over this way. Oh, definitely, definitely. Cool. I'll definitely do that. No problem. All right. Let's keep in touch. Thank you for your time. This is episode 18. That's Chip Fu. I'm the journalist sincere, and we're signing off. Thank you All so right. much. All right, people. <laughs>